Hello, my name is Fernando Alvarez. I work for Menticon OPC and I'm going to show you to today a quick demo of how can we integrate OPC classic servers with OPC UA client applications, okay? So OPC UA is the new standard of the OPC technology, but of course we still use and we still see in different uh, industries and companies uh, OPC classic uh, infrastructures. So I'm going to show you a quick demo of how can we easily integrate the OPC classic servers we have in our company with OPC UA compliant applications using, in this case, our software called Metricon OPC UA Tunneler. All right, so uh, during the, the presentation, uh, I'm going to use the Metricon OPC UA Tunneler. All right, this is the, the configuration screen of the software. Uh, basically, the Tunneler has the, the functionality previously known as Metricon Tunneler, um, where you can communicate an OPC Classic server located in one computer uh, with an OPC Classic client uh, placed in a different computer, right? This could be in another network with a firewall in the middle. So in those cases, we are still using the Metricon OPC Tunneler located one in together with the Classic server and the other one together with the Classic client, okay? So the communication is using a TCP IP port between the two PCs. We still use that functionality when we have uh, OPC Classic and OPC Classic in both ends. Okay, so now uh, we have included two extra functionalities in the in the tunneler. Uh, the functionalities are called UA Proxy and UA Wrapper. Right, basically those functionalities are um, done to to integrate OPC Classic uh, architectures with OPC UA. Right, so for example. The UA proxy allows us to con communicate any OPC UA server with OPC Classic client and application. So if we have an SCADA that is using OPC Classic, we can communicate with an OPC UA server, for example, embedded in a PLC. We just need to place a tunneler together with the SCADA, and that's it. We make the communication with the PLC or with the UA server using OPC UA, and then locally we are talking OPC Classic with the with the SCADA. And the presentation I'm going to show you, the, the demo, is about the other functionality, the UA wrapper, all right? How can we convert an OPC Classic server into an OPC UA server? So at the end, we can integrate those uh, OPC Classic servers we have in our company with OPC UA client applications, all right? So basically, uh, as I say, the functionality is called wrapper. All right, we need to place a UA tunneler together with the OPC Classic servers so we can basically convert any OPC Classic server into UA in a very, very easy way, All right? So at the end, we will have an OPC UA client connected to our tunneler who is connected below to the OPC servers Classic. So we don't, we don't need to get rid of all the OPC Classic servers we have. We just need to place a tunneler in, in this uh, computer and from the OPC UA client point of view, we are connecting to one OPC UA server, all right? So uh, this is the demo I'm going to show you. This is the architecture, all right? I have here two OPC classic servers. I am going to use the Metricon OPC simulation server. This supports OPC DA. And also I have the Metricon OPC server for Modbus reading data from a PLC, all right? So I'm going to show you first how, how I'm reading data from an OPC Classic client, and then we will configure the tunneler in order to make it available, the data for an OPC UA client application to connect and read this same data that we are reading with the OPC Classic, all right? So basically, we will convert these two OPC servers into UA, okay? Uh, perfect. So I'm going to show you my uh, virtual machine, and you can follow the steps um, to configure the, the tunneler. All right, as I said, I have a I have a, an OPC server for Modbus, the Metricon OPC server for Modbus, who is connected to a simulation, a Modbus simulator. This acts as a PLC, all right? So I'm reading this uh, data uh, using the Metricon OPC server for Modbus, who is already configured, reading data from the port 502, Modbus address one, all right? And I have also the Metricon OPC simulation server. 
So if I put a metric on OPC Explorer, which is an OPC classic client, I'm reading data from the OPC server for Modbus, and I'm also reading data from the simulation server. So this is what we have so far. We have two OPC servers, DA, two OPC classic servers working, and we would like to make this data available to an OPC UA client, all right? As you already know, if you connect an OPC classic server with an OPC client, it must be classic. And if you are talking about UA, it is it's the same. You need to connect the OPC UA server with an OPC UA client. So we will place the metric on OPC UA toddler in the middle to make available uh, that data, right? So, well, this is first the home screen, the one I showed you before, all right? So we have the classic to classic functionality and we have then the, the gateways that allows us to communicate to, to the OPC UA technology. So in this case, we have this uh, architecture. We have two OPC classic servers in this computer, and we'll configure the tunneler, which is installed in the same computer. And it will be, at the end, we will need to test uh, if we can read the data we have available in the servers uh, through an OPC UA client, okay? In this case, I will use Metricon OPC UA Explorer to, to read the data, all right? So we will go to, to the screen that says UA client to classic server. This is the one we need, all right? So in this configuration, we will need first to run, for the first time, we will need to run the OPC UA tunneler, all right? Perfect, One, once this is running, uh, we just need to place or select which OPC servers we want to convert into UA, all right? So here in the configuration, we see that we have the service name. This is a Windows service. And we have the um, URI of, this is the information we need in the OPC client, in the OPC UA client to connect to our OPC UI server. All right? So first, let's create a, a new connection. We just need to, to press, uh, press here in the plus button, all right? This is, say, it says add connection, we press that. And automatically it will show uh, all the OPC servers I have in this computer, all right? So it's that easier. I just need to select which OPC server I need to convert into UA. So I said I need a metric on OPC simulation server, all right? It's an OPC DA server supporting version 3.0. I just spread add. Okay, uh, it says a message that the service is running. I will need to restart the service after that. I press OK. Perfect, and then I just need to add the metric on OPC server for Modbus, right? The same procedure. I just press add connection, all right? I select the metric on OPC server for Modbus. Uh, it says OPC DA, all right? This supports version two of OPC DA. I just press add, the same message. Uh, I will restart the service afterwards. And I just add the metric on OPC server for Modbus. In the OPC UA technology, as you know, uh, the security is based on digital certificates. So first in this uh, presentation, I will show you how to connect without security. But if you want to, to make a, a secure connection, you need to exchange certificates with the OPC UA client. Okay, so here you can handle the certificates and you can see where are the trusted certificates or the rejected certificates, okay? This is something about the configuration. We are talking here that we have an OPC uh, UA server, okay? So I have here some certificates that I have in the certificate store, right? And then, I have added already the OPC servers classic that I need to convert into UA. And I know which is the URI I need to, to connect. So perfect. What I need now is to test it from an OPC UA client. So I just go to the OPC UA client. As I say, we will use the Metricon OPC UA Explorer in this case. This is the OPC classic where I'm reading the data. I open the metric on OPC UA Explorer, and I just need to uh, add a new server, right? This is the configuration screen of the um, 
OPC UA client. I just add a new server, all right? And it's asking me for the uh, host name and the port number, okay? If I go to the tunneler again, it says uh, the host name is, of course, is localhost or OPC 107. And the port number that is using the, the tunneler is 21381, okay? This could be changed. This could be changed uh, from the OPC UA tunneler configuration, but let's try using that one, okay? So we just minimize this. We put in, okay, we are in localhost. We will put the port number, okay? We press search, all right? And he found it. He found the OPC UI server installed in the local machine. This could be also a remote machine. Uh, I just need to put here the IP address, right? I found the UI wrapper, and here I have the, the endpoints, okay? How I'm going to connect? As I said, I'm going to connect first without security. So I press none, and I just press connect, all right? So perfect. I have here the... I'm already connected, all right? Here you have a, like a log where uh, we are already connecting, connection session to the to the UI wrapper is done correctly. And if I go to objects, press rebrowse, here I have the two OPC servers, all right? The simulation server and the metric on OPC server for Modbus. Let's, for example, go and try to browse tags from the OPC server for Modbus. I say that I have it in the aliases, all right? So I press rebrowse, and here I have the same tags I had it in OPCDA, all right? So I put the temperature, I put the, pre uh, the pressure, the level, and some calculations that, that I have, all right? So I'm currently reading with good status code uh, the tags with these values in the OPC UA client, all right? So it's that easy. Here I have the OPC UA Explorer, and here I have the OPC Classic Explorer, all right? Both of them are reading data from the server for Modbus, all right? Here we have the same uh, values, of course, but we are reading data through different technologies, all right? If I go here to the simulation, it will be the same. I press click right button, rebrowse. Just look for the simulation items, rebrowse, and some random tags. I can put some random tags. All right, here I have it. I can just drag and drop to the left screen, and I'm reading data from also from the simulation server. So that's it. That's the whole configuration you need to do in the UA tunneler and in order to read data from an OPC UA client, right, from OPC Classic Server. So the main idea, we don't have to get rid of all the OPC servers we have. We just can uh, configure in the UA tunneler all the OPC Classic servers we want to convert into UA and just use this uh, endpoint to connect with the OPC UA, from the OPC UA client, all right? So, well, thank you very much, guys. Uh, let me show you one second. All right, so this is the configuration we just did. We had the two OPC servers, uh, the classic servers, and we are reading data from the OPC UA client. So basically, you can convert any OPC classic server into UA, and then you can place your OPC UA client and test reading some data, all right? So here you can find my contact details, all right? Uh, in case you need any help with the configuration, uh, all the software is available to test it with a 30-day license fee. All right, so thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.